Joining me now here in our Crewtech studios is our Brian Bendeley. Well, Brian, this weather center certainly sounds like it's going to be a big, or have a big impact on the University of Oklahoma. Well, certainly, Rob. Not only is it unique that it allows students to be in the same facility with federal research, they also have up-to-date tools such as flat screen TVs in their labs. They have rooftop labs where the instruments they build that they will be measuring weather on the same center they're studying in, and they have an observation deck so they can see weather as it comes into Oklahoma. This facility will make OU the premier weather school for the nation. And I'm assuming just by sheer proximity, this has got to be good news for Norman's already growing weather industry. Well, this facility becomes the main selling point for bringing industry into Norman. Uh, weather industry throughout the nation, in the globe, they're all looking to Norman for the answers and they want to have a business or some sort of contact with the school. Uh, this is going to bring a lot of businesses into Norman, and, but what's most important is that Oklahomans are taking advantage of it. And one example is the homegrown business Weather Decision Technology, started by an Oklahoma University graduate who wanted to be one of the first to tap this new and ever-growing weather industry. The world is at his fingertips, and his business is predicting the future, yet his home is in Norman, Oklahoma. The Norman community has a broad base of severe weather capabilities and a broad base in radar, and we combine those technologies into things like we can tell you at your house uh, lightning will be in the area 30 minutes from now and it's going to go away 45 minutes from now. Mike Iles is the president of Weather Decisions Technology, one of the 500 fastest growing companies in the U.S. for 2005 and also one of the original founders of Norman's weather industry. We founded the company with the goal of extracting value from the Norman community, the meteorological community, and taking that value and bringing it to the marketplace as new products for other weather companies, for other countries in the world, and, uh, and then we sell to end users sometimes too, uh, big systems. Graduate of Oklahoma University, IELTS has used his knowledge and experience to develop radar and prediction systems seen not only on your local weather news, but also warning systems for fishermen in the middle of the ocean. IELTS says none of this would be possible without support from the Norman community. NEDC. Don Hi. Wood is the executive director for the Norman Economic Development Coalition and says the combination of Oklahoma University's okay. Meteorology School and the Severe Storms Laboratory makes okay. Norman very appealing for growth. They, they want to be part of that family. They want to learn what that family is doing and they want to see what are the applications that might be uh, used for that could have commercial applications. Wood estimates 1,000 employees are involved in the weather industry and over six major companies, some of which have home offices scattered all around the globe. But the trend we're seeing is companies that are weather related uh, setting up a, an office here so that they can have access to the expertise that's here. And that access is something homegrown businesses like WDT have a head start with and are utilizing it to the fullest. We're attracted to stay here and we want to stay here because this is where it should be. If you're, if you're a meteorologist, then you should be excited to be here and we are. It's a great place to be. Giving Oklahoma one more reference on its economic resume.